Hey everybody, welcome to the Dirty Cock Show. I am Sway, and that is my co-host, Evan. Welcome to the fifth production of the dirtiest show on YouTube. The dirtiest show on YouTube and the fastest growing show on YouTube. Which, not really, but still, we're growing pretty fast. It'd be fucking awesome if we were. So it, would be, it would be pretty awesome. And with your guys' help, we can grow that fast by you guys sharing us, liking the video, and all that kind of stuff. Share us on all your favorite social networks when you guys aren't like, stalking your ex-girlfriends and stuff like that. Share our video. It's not stalking as long as you don't go to their house. That's true. That's true. I, 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 guess, I guess you're right on that one. Join the Dirty Cock Nation. And if you guys want to support the show, don't forget to go. I made it easy for you guys. Just go to uh, DirtySavings.com. DirtySavings.com. Click on one of our affiliates. We got a brand new affiliate. I don't even know if I told you about it. But now we have... Uh, that's my girlfriend texting me. Really, dude? Can you tell her that we're shooting shit here, bro? <sighs> I'm about to send or should, her... should we call her and bitch her out about uh, Valentine's Day? Uh, th- she doesn't watch the show. She doesn't watch the show. That's horrible. Um, that's horrible. It's, it's, it's week number three of her not watching the show. But anyways, uh, um, our affiliates, we got a brand new one, adamandeve.com. Oh, shit. That's right. That's right. Nice. Go Wait, to, go to, do they have a lube fountain on there? They have an everything you want fountain on oh, there. Shit. They have everything. They have, they have from vibrators to male enhancement pills. They have all kinds of stuff. It's, get it's on awesome. it, man. Get on it. You yeah. will buy something off of there. DirtySavings.com. Check it out, guys. It is awesome. It is fucking awesome. And uh, you had something... Uh... Uh, you, you know what? Let me, let me, yeah, I, I, I had... So I have... Uh, me, me and the wife, we adopted a white English bulldog when he was... Uh, I think he was less than eight weeks. I actually had a bottle feed him for a while. But he's all white, about 55 pounds, and he's deaf. Yeah, he's a little asshole. He's kind of mean. He's kind of mean. He's no, cool, we... though. He's cool. You know, we should flash a picture of him, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll show a picture of me. He, when you look at his face, the picture will be right here. When you look at his face, he looks like a fucking asshole. He he, he acts like an asshole dog sometimes. Yeah, man. he acts like, a, like he's better than everybody. You know what? Because he's deaf. He thinks he's cool, man. That's true. But anyways, what happened with the stupid retarded dog? So let, let me tell you what happened to this fucking dog, man. So today, I get home from work, mm-hmm. right? And I go home. Mm-hmm. I walk in the fucking house. The wife looks at me and goes, hey, you need to take a pwn outside. He's got something hanging out his ass. And I go, what? Was it your vibrator? Was it your penis? Full of peanut butter. Oh, that's disgusting. (laughs) So I take this fucking dog outside, man, and he ate, I don't know what the fuck he ate. He ate some kind of string. Yeah. I actually had to put a fucking rubber glove on, man, and like with the baby wipe and grab it and like pull it out of his ass, man. It was it was it was uncomfortable for me, man. That's, that sounds disgusting. I've never fucking and, done that to a dog in my life. And erotic at the same time for the dog. You know what? Kind of traumatized me and intrigued me all at the same time. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. So you pretty much uh, you pretty much pulled out anal beads from a dog's ass. Pretty much, pretty much. And you know what? And let me tell you, fuck the guy in the blue truck. Who drove by me the other day and honked his fucking horn as I was walking my dog on the side of the street, man. Maybe you shouldn't be walking your dog. Well, maybe that guy shouldn't be a fucking asshole, man. Well, what if my dog was able to hear and he'd have ran into the fucking street? Then I'd be fucked. I don't think that's why they honk. We well, sure in the fuck didn't honk to say hi. Well, I don't know why they honk. He's a fucking ass. He's a douchebag, dude. All right. All right. But back to Capone. He's, he's a cool dog. He's a cool dog, man. He's, he's, a, uh, he's a very... He's not. He's, he's really not a member of the family, man. I mean, if I can, uh, if, if, I'd give him up for adoption, man. The wife doesn't let me, though. You know. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure because he's got the asshole look on it. It's, uh, a, a dog is like having an, an asshole kid that you can give back. Yeah, exactly. My wife doesn't believe in getting rid of the dogs, though, man. Yeah, I'd give it's, it's a lifelong commitment here. I'd give him. And back. he's two years old, man. Did you know he was deaf when you got him? I did not know he was deaf when I got him. Mm-hmm. I'll tell you what, man. She uh, videotaped me trying to brush his teeth one day. And it was horrendous because when she played it for me, so I mean, if you never brushed a dog's teeth, have you ever brushed a dog's teeth? No. It's intense, dude. So this guy's got a, a mouth about the, probably about the size of mine. Well, he's, he's a big dog, man, you know, and I'm trying to brush his teeth. And I literally have to, like, grab him in the headlock, man. I got to, like, you know, got to, like, lay across yeah. him or something, man. But So the wife played the video, and it looked horrendous. It looked like I was choking the fucking dog or like I was beating him, dude. Was this the first time they were recording you? Well, what do you mean, recording was the first time you that they recorded you brushing his teeth? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Huh? I mean, I've you know, rem- yeah, you know. It reminds me of, of one of our comments from one of our uh, our, our dirty cocks out there. 
He uh, he said that the the first couple of videos he looked very unnatural. Oh yes, yes, I yeah, did. I, 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 I did believe read it. I believe this is a uh, preciado, uh, one of our. Uh, yeah, yeah, and I appreciate the comment, man. I appreciate the uh, comment. But he said I that am. you're starting to look a lot more natural. I'm uptight, man. I'm uptight. Well, here's the thing: you've never been on 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 camera, have you? I've never, well, I've never recorded myself for YouTube or for anything else except you masturbating, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. but it's just it's just the, the, the wang shot, man. I never have a face in there, you know. <laughs> you just, you just record your midsection. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Just for just, all, just you know, skill. Just, yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Like exactly. a football player studies tape of other teams. You study tape of you masturbating and what you can do to make it faster for the yeah, next yeah, time. Hell yes, I hell yes. You know what I mean? Is it you know angle of the, you know the pressure, the angle of the wrist? I like to masturbate like I pitch overhand. You know what I'm saying? Oh no, shit! Uh, <laughs> no, that's just, I'll tell you what—I haven't overhanded it since I was younger. Yeah, no, I don't really overhand it. But uh, but anyways, yeah, this is your very first time on any kind of recording. So yeah, you, yeah, I, I, I knew you, you were very unnatural the first few times. But I mean, that's the way you learn to be on on YouTube. Something that a lot of people don't know: Google your favorite YouTuber. Uh, there, if there's a big YouTuber out there, Google his name or go to his website. Uh, there's a lot of shows that I'm not going to mention, but go to their website and you will see that uh, a lot of them are actually actors. They're not, oh, really? they're, they're not full blown actors. Like they're not in movies, but they all study drama and stuff like that. And I'll tell you what. they went to school for drama and shit like that. And I don't have an ounce of drama in me. This is not no fucking act. I, did, <laughs> I do not have, I do not have dreams of becoming an actor. I mean, we don't we, don't we have we, a teleprompter right here in front of us that yeah. people can't see? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, We're not reading absolutely. shit. This is all off the dome. That's why sometimes it comes out fucked up. Sometimes it comes out really good. Whatever. But yeah, a lot of your favorite YouTubers are as, aspiring actors. I didn't know this till recently. Till I, I seen that. I was watching this show, and uh, this YouTube show, and this is really hot chick. And I go, let me Google her. You know, see? And she had like a, a portfolio, a portfolio of her acting career, like little roles that she's had over the years. And I said, man, all these motherfucking YouTubers. And from there, I, I became kind of obsessed. And I spent like a couple of hours googling YouTubers and seeing if there were mm-hmm. actors. And a lot of them are all actors. They've all spent years in drama class. No shit. You know what? Speaking of drama class, let me tell you what happened to me in high school. I actually failed drama. Let me you tell you why. Drama? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Queen. <laughs> no, hold on, hold on. I was like a super senior thing. I went back for my thirteenth year, but I had a drama, and one of the requirements to pass the class was I actually had to. Um, I don't know what you would call it. Maybe role play or or, or uh, read a, a poem in front of the school. Mm-hmm. I choked, man. I choked hard. Really. Well, you know, it's... It was dark. The spotlight was on me really low, mm-hmm. right? Curtains opened. Not one word out of me, man. Not one word out of me. And everybody... It was... I mean, the auditorium was full. Were your parents there? No, man. Well, no. that's embarrassing, no, bro. That, that well, let's get... Let's get... We should... You know, fuck your whole drama story. Let's find out about your family and how they weren't there to support you and your one... <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> the, bunch the one, of jerks. The one time that you were acting. So, so have you ever recorded yourself? Recording myself? Yeah, yeah. No, well, I mean, I've done Tech Ninja TV for a year, but if you No, 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 I'm talking about... Oh, masturbating? Recording yourself. No, or Or fucking? Or fucking, yeah, yeah. No, absolutely not. Never. No, I don't need need that tape to leak and people to find out by my small penis. I like females to believe I'm joking around about it until they see it, and then, and then, and then, when... Because I keep on talking about four inches. (laughs) I, 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 I say four inches. All girth, no length. All girth, no length. That's... That's my saying. I got it tattooed it. On, my, on my on my stomach, like Tupac has thug life. I got all girth, no length on my stomach. But um, I like to I like to uh, talk about it, and that way, when I'm with a girl, and she's heard me joke around four inches for a very long time, and then the first time I show her, and it actually is four inches, she's like, "Well, I can't be mad at him. He's all he's been talking about." It's also, true. It's true. also. If you if you, if you guys do have a small penis, here's a here's here's a little tip for all you youngins. If you guys only have five inches, then tell girls you have four inches, and that way when you find <laughs> no 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 this works. That way when you find a girl that likes you and she's like, well I don't care about his four inches, he's a nice guy, whatever the fuck. And you and she's when you're ready to have sex, you she's expecting four, but you bust out your five, she's fucking impressed. Boom. Right oh there, yeah, in love. She's like, oh my god, I don't know if I can take the full five. She's gonna five. do the atomic knee four. drop and just boom, shake the fucking ground. Yeah, and just ready to start sucking cock. You know what I mean? Oh shit. Yeah, that's what happens. I'll tell you what, man. If you are gonna videotape yourself and maybe post it online, 
Don't do the ass shot. Like, don't don't record from the back. You That's know? all you got to do, man. I don't want to see ball sack, man. I'm I mean, not, it's, it's horrible camera If I'm recording myself record have sex, I'm not recording myself so other people can see it. I'm recording myself so I can see it in the future. It's true, it's true, but still, man. I and I'm just recording the girl's asshole and my ball sack hitting the girl's asshole. But you can see That's your it. asshole in there, too, though, man. That's the horrible thing. Yeah, I know. That's why you got to get your asshole bleached like a movie star. <laughs> You know, I, I actually watched that shit one time I on met, some I kind of fucking a, website. I seen it. I seen it on HBO. Them getting their asshole bleached. I think I seen it on E fucked. I mentioned the Kardashians bleach their asshole. You're damn right, they bleach their asshole. The Kardashians are hairy fucking bitches. You know what I mean? Oh man! You, you can tell that that those girls, if they don't fucking shave, that they'll be just fucking like monkey hair. You gotta be you know all up I mean? in there, though, dude. Like, oh, oh, you know? They gotta they gotta wax everything. Those bitches are fucking hairy ass. Now, here's the thing, whores. man. What if you get up in there and poof, she spreads them open and boom the bush? You gonna just you gonna dip your face in them, man? Or are you gonna like be like ew no? In the batch? Yeah. Well, I mean, look, you hairy asshole. Well, I mean, if she's I've spe- seen '70s porn and they are if, some hairy assholes. If, if if I'm with the girl and she opens up and it's completely hairy, then I start flossing. You know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, I- <laughs> that's right. That's right. <laughs> But, uh, uh, that's horrible. That's horrible. But anyways, let me tell you. Let me tell you a quick story about uh, about my Valentine's Day, right? Because Valentine's Day happened last Friday. Let's hear it, man. Let's hear it. Um, so, I think what my, did H now do? I think my girlfriend. She go. We go out to dinner. Uh, not a too nice of a place, but a decent place, right? Of course, I pay for it because that's what that's what guys do. We all that's get, what guys. We do. all get screwed out of that. We, 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 we have to. We have to. At, yeah. at, at a certain point, you just have to. You know. I mean, do you do you give the girl like a certain hint, or do you kind of when they drop no, the check, you, do you kind of ignore her for five seconds or so? No, or? I mean, I mean that you only do that on the first date to make sure that she's not a stuck up bitch. That's if true. she offers to pay for it, then she's a good girl. But if she just straight up slides the check over, <laughs> she to you, looks at you and she, goes, "What yeah, are you doing?" Yeah, then then she's a gold digger. But no, I paid for it. That's fine. And then went to the movies, and I paid for that. That's fine. My, my girlfriend pulled this move where she goes. She, when she tried to pay for it at the kiosk outside, because they have a kiosk outside, and usually what we do at the kiosk is we buy children's tickets. They're oh, six. Fuck yes, they're six dollars cheaper, about that. and they never check. They're six dollars cheaper. No shit, but this huh? time the kiosk are broken, oh. and uh, it said go to line. <laughs> they're, they're on to you, man. Yeah, they're on. So, uh, <laughs> so she goes. I need to go to the bathroom, and she went to the bathroom. So I got screwed in the pain in the theater too. But, H uh, H really? It's Dinner, it's fine. Did, did she leave a tip? She left a tip at the dinner thing because I didn't. Because she was like, she had her uh, ten dollars or was something. Was it like two dollars or something? Or? No, no. I think we tipped like fifteen bucks. Look, look at that, man. Yeah. Um, but You're anyways, a big spender. Right? Huh? You know, I'm balling sometimes. Um, but anyways, we went to to the theater, and um, we went inside the movie, to watch RoboCop, which sucked ass, by the way. Really? Yeah, but that sucks, man. Yeah. Uh, you know, I had high hopes for that fucking movie. No, it sucks. The first one sucked ass. They all sucked ass. But anyways, uh, so we were in there, and the theater's packed because everyone's taking their date out. And there's this, uh, this, there's it's a robocop. There's a couple, and I'm not, I'm not sure if they had more friends with them sitting behind us. It was a Mexican dude and his Mexican chick, uh, not a real Mexican, but like a Mexican American. Miller, what the fuck is this? Uh, that's an uh, Michelob Ultra. Michelob Ultra. It was a Mexican American, right? Uh, and because they were speaking English, I never heard them speak Spanish. But anyways. They were tapping her chair. The girl was tapping her chair, right? What? Yeah, yeah. With what? With her feet. You know how they tap? Like a like a shake, like a nervous shake. Uh, I think it was like a ner- like a shake, but it was happening only every once in a while. And my girlfriend was being very loud and vocal about her tapping. It was like, if this girl keeps tapping my chair, I'm gonna pull her fucking shoe off. Very loud and vocal, right? And it's just me now. I'm not sure if this guy has his other friends with him. Now, see, at this point, did you did you at least like uh, scout it and go? I can take him. Or well, I, 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 I could have definitely taken the guy next to her. Okay. I'm not sure if he had more friends, though. I'm not sure if he, if That's he came the thing, in the man. In you group. start swinging and you get hit in the back of the fucking head by his homie who you didn't see. Exactly. So that, that was the only problem. But I thought to myself, my girlfriend was very, very loud and like, I don't give a shit. Taking not into consideration that if, she, if someone tells her anything... I'm the one who's got to fight. Absolutely. And I thought to myself, you know what? I've been with a lot of races. I've been with a, a with a lot of a, 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 a black girls. I've been with Mexican girls, and I've been with white girls. You know what I mean? Have you ever been with an Asian? No, I haven't. Really? But I imagine they're very peaceful and calm and smart. I would hope so. And uh, but I, but I figured, you know what? The black girls and the Mexican girls, they all pull the same shit. If someone's at the theater and they tap your chair. They'll say something, but they'll say something to fight. And yeah. they're, and they're oh, like, yeah. I'm going to fight, and you're going to fight too. 
<laughs> they're involved in their bullshit. I'm going to get up and beat this bitch's ass. Yes. And you need to fuck up her man. Yes. And you're like, fuck. And white girls are completely different in the fact that they'll talk shit, but they don't believe it's going to escalate to violence. Like if, like, if, like if I was to get up and I was to go, hey, fucking bitch, stop tapping my girlfriend's chair. I'd be the one getting in trouble going, hey. You're going to get in a fight. And I'm like, well, that's the fucking point. That's why you're fucking pointing hey, all this out. Hey, You're being completely, you're being a huge ass in the yeah, theater. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that, that's that's when it all hit me. Is that, is that white girls don't think, don't. I I right away, when, when, when my girlfriend started being loud, I right away saw violence. I was like, oh, shit, we're going to get in a fight. You know, but that, she was like, I'm just going to, I'm just going to, I'm just going to be loud and she's going to stop. Now, see, I, I don't mean to stereotype or anything, but me and you grew up in not, not the best of neighborhoods in, in the Denver area. Uh-huh. And I, I think that's what it is, man. I mean, you know, we, we're, we're growing up now. We Neither one of us have any kind of criminal record. We're, we're, we're straight arrows. But um, the potential to, to really... Although you're not allowed to buy your school. <laughs> right? Middle schools are elementary <laughs> yeah. schools. Yeah. Um, no, but uh, um, I mean, it, it's, it, it's, a, it's a mentality, I think. You know, you, you prepare for the worst. And, and people who, who don't, you know, they just, you know... That's true. They just they just don't, man. They don't. They, they see they, they see they the good see, in people. They see an argument. They don't see a fight. They don't see a, a stabbing. Oof. I'm like, oh, this guy's gonna fucking stab me. He's behind me. He's got stabbing. Uh, or he's got it, a clear line to a fucking donkey punch right to the fucking back of your head, man. He's, he's got everything open. He can stab me. Or I won't even know. I, would, I won't he, even know. You know what, dude? He'll he'll like fucking fuck you up, fuck up your lady, and by the time you wake up, the movie's over. You're bent over a fucking uh, theater chair. Pants down and everything. <laughs> Pants down and everything. Well, that's, that's, that's the worst part. That's the horrible part. But anyways, guys, let me know what you guys think about this whole movie situation. Let us know what you guys think about any of the stories we talked about in this first half. We are going to go ahead and take a break and be right back with the news. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the Dirty Cock Show. I am Sway. That is effing. And I want to thank you guys one more time for sharing, liking the video, all that kind of stuff. That is the only way we're going to grow the Dirty Cock Nation is by you guys sharing the video. Click us, watch us, and share us. That's right. On all those sites. Social networks. Social networks. Social sorry. networks is what they're called. Sorry. And uh, also, do not forget to go to Dirt. DirtySavings.com. I almost forgot myself. DirtySavings.com and support the show. Go to Adam and Eve. Order some beer of the month. Go to GoDaddy. There's all kinds of sites on there. The beer of the month thing is fucking awesome, man. They send you beers every single month. You pay you pay once, they automatically deduct, uh, take it from your credit card, and they send you beers every single month, so you're yeah, never the thing dry. Is you're, you're eventually you're, you're gonna go out there and fucking buy them on They're your own. They're always man. different beers. That's the beauty of it. We should send our uh, our our IPA homie over there. Here's the beauty. Here's also the beauty of it. They, if they, they 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 select only the best beers that are available, uh-huh. so, and even if you call them back and go, hey, can I get that that beer I got last month? They'll go, nope, all new beers. They won't even send you the old ones. Really? It's the beautiful, beautiful. They only send you the best. Anyways, so, so their inventory changes on a daily. Absolutely, not well, nice. a daily, okay. on a monthly. All right, well, monthly. Daily. But yeah, absolutely awesome. Check it out, DirtySavings.com. But we're going to go ahead and get into the news with our very first news story being about a new drug that was introduced to the FDA. It's a new drug for for girls or for women that have low libidos. That's low sex drives. That's got my motherfucking vote right now, bro. Unfortunately, the FDA denied it. What? They wanted a little bit more tests, but the company that's doing this drug said that the only test they need to pass is the, de- the test for uh, it's safer than to drive on the drug. Which is said it's going to pass and they're going to resubmit it later on this year. They're not going to pull over and fuck the gear shifter? Exactly. exactly. Like or the flag. emergency brake? Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> they don't want it to work too well. Exactly. But, exactly. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be resubmitted and it's going to be av- hopefully be available sometime next year. So if you slip a girl that in their drink, is that considered a I don't think it like works. Roofing? I don't think it works that fast. I don't think it, wor- I don't think it works like a, like, a, like a roofie. So would it be okay to give it to your significant other? I, I think it's probably like a like a uh, like a Xanax or not like a Xanax, but like a Prozac. I don't know what the fuck. But a Viagra for women. Basically? No, no. I think it. I think it's. I think you got to take it over time and it slowly works. You know what oh, I mean? Really? It's not so going to be like a one time thing. Mm-hmm. I imagine. I don't fucking know. Uh, this is all stuff that really hasn't came out yet, but it is going to come out. But here's here's my complaint about this drug, right? And my complaint when it comes to all things feminine <laughs> that help them out. I know all you, all you women out there are saying, oh, well, we have it bad. Really, you don't. Because you guys have breast implants. 
You guys have uh, vagina tightenings? Yep. You guys have uh, they they can they can make you guys back into virgins. They can give you back your hymen if you wanted to, pra- plastic surgery. You guys have all kinds of stuff that's going to help you out. And we don't have shit. What do we have? We have if, a pill that keeps you hard for a while. That's it. That's but it. besides that, if I have a small penis, you're fine. There's no surgery out there. There's one surgery that where they where they clip the what holds your penis, both of the ligaments, I believe they're called. On either side of your pelvis, and your penis comes out. But at most, you get a half inch. They don't. Isn't guarantee- that a that keeps from you being able to like exactly? Right? I mean, at that point, it's just going to kind of dip back your, into you, your right? Pe- yeah, your penis will no longer can. It, That's a little fucking no disturbing. Way. Your penis can go out of, out of out of out of whack. It can go out of uh, out of its socket. So you basically, kind of fuck yourself. Yeah, it doesn't. <laughs> I, I, from what I hear, it doesn't hurt. From what the from what the website say, not that I've looked into it, you know. <laughs> I will show a couple of small cocked sons of bitches. I'm sure I have. You're all. But, uh, I'm like a dog. My penis just retracts back into me. Yeah, that's pretty much what it's what it's what this surgery is like. So we don't we don't have shit. And girls have everything. I mean, how many years have we gone by without a fucking penis enlargement, man? The pump. The, that's not a real. That doesn't work. I've tried it. I have one, bro. <laughs> The cock ring can only hold it up for so long. The cock ring doesn't work either, man. Nah, he, he, that's here's, bullshit. He, here's the thing, man. Is that, I mean, all we have is just something to make us harder for longer. That's it. Yeah, but that's it, it also makes you feel like you're going to have a heart attack, man. Yes, it does. Yes, so it so does. then you're fucked. You can't. You're, you're having a panic attack while you're fucking. Or you're about to fucking have a heart attack downstairs with yeah. a fucking four inch uh, rock hard cock. All I'm saying is, doctors, we land motherfuckers on the moon. <laughs> on the moon. On the fucking moon. We've won wars. We've built a bomb. We've built a contraption that has the potential to eliminate half the world. Yet we can't extend my penis two inches. Somebody give Sway an inch. Give me a fucking inch. He needs needs no girth. He just needs a little I bit have, of length. Yeah, I have more than enough girth. If there's any, <laughs> if there's any doctor out there who, who actually perfected this and came out with this, multi-zillionaire. That'd there'll be, that, that, there'll that be guys be. lining up his fucking clinic oh, fuck waiting yeah, for right. a fucking penis enlargement. So let's focus on that, piece of shit doctors. Right. Sons of bitches. <laughs> uh, second story of the day. Second story. You guys are ready for this? The Craigslist killer. Did you hear about this? No, 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 man. All right. no, for anybody, this, is, this is new news for me, man. For anybody I have not who heard didn't hear about this. Um, so they, they arrested this chick because she killed some dude. And she's confessed to over 22 murders. Holy shit. And she met these, these dudes on Craigslist. Oh, man. Was it like a piece of ass? Did they go off for a piece of ass and yeah. got killed? Oh. I, I, be- I believe so. She befriended some of these dudes. Now, her backstory is, while well, they caught her with one... Her and her boyfriend killed the last one. Oh, she's got an accomplice. The, the, only the last one was the only accomplice she's ever had, she said. Um, but the other ones were all her. She she uh, she joined a satanic cult when she was 13. Holy shit. And that's the first time she killed. So she's been meeting these dudes on, on Craigslist. And then, uh, according to her, she's been uh, uh, kind of getting to know them and seeing if they deserve to die. So this last dude... Uh, because she was been sexually abused and shit. So this last dude, they, they killed her and her husband. Her husband was in the, or her boyfriend was in the back seat. And she was in the front. And the, uh, it was one of those sex ads or whatever. Yeah. And uh, she told the dude, hey, I'm 16. Hey, and is the, she hot? No, no, she's not. Flash a picture, man. I will. see this. And uh, she told the guy, hey, I'm 16. And the guy said, I don't care, whatever. So the so that right there deemed him a child molester. The boyfriend comes out from the back seat, starts choking him out. With the chicken wire. I'm not sure with what. That I mean, well, I mean, like the classic, yeah, yeah, like yeah, you yeah. see in the mob movies. Yeah, yeah, like, mafia style. That's yeah. fucking crazy. Yeah. And she, started, crazy. she stabs him to death. Holy shit, man. Yeah, yeah. And then, and then once they caught her, arrested her, she confessed to, she said at least 22 murders in like four different states. She lost count after 22. No fucking way. She's met all of them up through Craigslist. But yeah. Be careful, guys. Well, well, no ass is safe ass. Apparently, here's the, well, here's the thing though. According to her, she she's she's uh, she's asking them questions and making sure, seeing if they deserve to die. Now, this last one, he boned a 16 year old. You know what I'm saying? He, he was trying to bone an underage chick. I, I, I get that he deserves it, man. So you know what I'm saying? I mean, do they really deserve it? Here's my thing about child molesters. We're gonna get serious here for a second. I know we bullshit a lot, but let's let's get serious here about child, child molesters and rapists. You're a sick fuck. You no, should no. be just like chemically castrated or something, man. Or... No, 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 no. Let me tell you this. You know what they should do? 
they should allow the rapey to like plunder fuck. Well, or something. They, they wouldn't want to do that because the rapey is not a sick fuck. That's true. But anyways, maybe you can pay somebody to do it. Here's what here's 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 my feeling on it. We send these assholes who molest who who are at parks diddling children. We send them to jail for five years. Going, hey, uh, you can't like little boys anymore. You can't like little girls. You got to get that out of your mind. And then we let them back out. And we're like, all right, well, they did their time. But here's my question. If I was to send you to jail for, for, for liking females and, and liking to get pussy, if I was to say, say hey, I'm going to send you to jail for 10 years. 10 years. Wait, for liking the vagina? For liking the vagina. If I was to tell you that, you go to jail for 10 years. And then all, all those years, you're like, oh, man, I'm in here because I like pussy. I need me some and vagina. And by, by the time you come out, I'm like, all right, but you can't bone any chicks. You're going to come out here with a raging boner ready to go after chicks. Pocket full of Viagra, sir. You can't change a homosexual to become straight by sending him to jail. No. You can't send a, a you can't change a heterosexual mm-hmm. and, and to, to becoming gay by sending him to jail. You can't change a child molester sending him to jail saying, please change. Oh, you've had therapy. You're no longer attracted to little boys. No, that's your fucking preference. Uh, you and know, now you, we just got to put you out of your misery. Yeah, th- that's what they should do. Our legal system's a little fucked up. I think they should... Uh, a little worse punishment, man. You know what? Man, a little worse? Make the, well, a lot of a worse. A little worse? Um, make the jails like they are in Mexico. Scare the shit out of people. Make people scared of jail. Not, oh, I'm going to go in there and have a good time. I'm going to go in there and become a fucking lawyer. Here's a, here's, at least, here's the thing. I believe that we shouldn't even waste our fucking money because we're paying about $60,000 a year on these assholes in jail. Paying for their fucking meals and all this kind of shit. They're eating should better. We, should we like fence in the state and just send them all there? Uh, well, here's my thing. If we're not going to fucking put them in a fucking gas chamber and end and, 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 and all of them, yeah. sure, we might lose some that are innocent, but that's collateral damage, you know? <laughs> you got to burn villages to win wars, right? You got to burn villages to win wars. Exactly. That's collateral damage. So my whole thing is if, if, if we're not going to do that, at least put them in general population. Let yeah. let other prisoners have have their fucking oh, turns yeah, at them, you know. You know don't what, put them in protective custody. <clears throat> I don't believe in um, <clears throat> high pro- high profile um, people getting special treatment either. I think if you fuck up, you should just you go where people fuck up. Absolutely not. Justin Bieber would not be fucking up. Uh, uh, I don't know who the fuck else would go to jail. Uh, he would not be fucking up. Paris Hilton. I don't know some other person that goes to jail. Lil some Wayne. other famous person. Lil Wayne, uh, Charlie Sheen. They would all not be fucking up if they knew that they were going to hit General Pop. Oh hell yes, man! You know what hell I heard yes. about about uh, what's the Iron Man dude? Iron Man's name? Uh, Cuba Downing Jr. Uh, yeah, I know Robert yeah, Downing Jr. Robert Downing Jr. Yeah, Is that yeah, his yeah. Name? yeah, yeah, Robert okay. Downing Jr. Um, I heard that when he went to jail a while ago for for his coke shit, uh-huh. like in the nineties. That uh, the prisoners, this came out on the, on the news, that the prisoners were coming out of jail saying that, I'm not sure if he was in general pop, but the prisoners were coming out of jail saying that, that they were having turns at his ass. Really? Yeah, because they, they can, they, they'd get out and they go, I raped Robert Downey Jr. No fucking way. And, 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 and you know, when you're in jail, to, how, have how that, to, to have that pride, I don't know, but to have that pride, to, I mean, you're already raping other dudes. Because you're already, if you're, if you're a lifer, you're there for 15 years, 20 years. I'm you're telling already, you, man. To have, to have a movie star on your roster? Yeah, com- yeah, compared right. compared, to, compared to, to, to skinny guy that you're selling? Right, right. Yeah, right. you're definitely going to do it. You know, I, I'm serious, man. They should make the jails like Mexican jails. Yeah, make yeah. motherfuckers scared of the prison, not system, not, not, not like it. They should definitely go to General Pop. Absolutely, absolutely. Here, man, I, I, I got a story that, uh, that if Capone could hear, he would appreciate. Oh. So, uh, this gentleman named... Capone, uh, your death dog. Yeah. Named uh, Jonathan Meister in, in a suburb in Los Angeles was beat for going to his friend's house. He was rummaging through the, through the friend's garage looking for his snowboard. Mm-hmm. Somebody called the cops and said the man was robbing this house. The cops get there. They grab him by the arm or whatever. They try to subdue him. And he's trying to sign to him. Oh, because he's deaf. And he's de- Yeah, he's deaf. He's trying to sign to him that he's deaf. And they beat the shit out of him, dude. Really? They beat the shit out of him, dude. Well, I mean, what's the name? Like Meister? What's his name? Uh, Jonathan Meisters. Jonathan Meister. Meister sorry. <laughs> what's a name like that? you got to be an asshole. First off. Yeah, right. Hey, man. It's, but, it's, Meister is it is a weird name. But I mean, today. It's a cool th- name. Today, you know what? We're actually going to be kind of serious because another thing about cops. They're all assholes. Yeah. Cops are bullies. Co- oh, yes, cops Let are bullies. Let me tell you something about cops. When you become a cop, when, whenever somebody out there becomes a cop, you're not becoming a cop to, uh, to, uh, to give out tickets. 
You're, you 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 become a cop to uh, to fight and you want, to you, you want that power. Man. You you want you want someone to, to test you. You want your license to kill. Exactly. You want oh, yeah. that. Unfortunately, uh, being a cop doesn't that isn't that. There's very few cops. There's like one percent that's a fucking crash unit in Compton right, that's right. fucking doing the Lord's work and actually printing people in jail and actually right, you know risking their life. The other people are giving out fucking tickets. If you were out on the beat and you pull over a hooker and she offers a hand job. Well, then you take the fucking hand job. It's a fucking sure. perk, man. Just making sure, man. It's like working at an office. You have an endless supply to fucking pens. That's why you steal all the pens. Like an a, office paper? An office paper. When you're a cop, you have an endless supply of hand jobs from hookers. So you take the fucking hand jobs Holy from hookers. shit, right. It's never true. thought of it that way. But you yeah. only get paid like fucking, well, depending on what county you're in, you get paid top $60,000 a year for your life. Oh, shit. So, I mean, why not take a couple of hand jobs? Why not? But yeah, anyways, these these guys are working uh, tickets all the time. So imagine you 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 join the force to fucking uh, fight and to uh, draw your gun, and you're just handing out tickets. And then you get a call to go to some garage because someone's stealing some shit. And you find some asshole throwing up gang signs to you when he's really trying to, <laughs> when he's really sign, doing sign language to you. But for all you know, he's fucking throwing up crips and bloods so and what side? You have just been waiting. For Meister to fuck up. You've been waiting for, for Jonathan Meister. To fuck up. To fuck up. And then you just fucking beat his ass. It's like, oh, I'm going to break your fucking fingers for throwing up all them gang signs at me, you asshole. Oh, that poor man. You know what? Because at that point, it's his gang that he's throwing up against the biggest gang in the U.S. The police force. The boys in blue. The boys in blue. The boys in blue. And I'm not talking about the Crips. <laughs> Right. I'm talking about the, the boys in blue with a fucking badge on I'm them. I'm talking about the police department. That's the biggest gang in the U.S. You know, some of them are nice, though, man. They're, I've ran across a couple of nice. Well, yes. They, well, I, I've ran across some hot ones, too. I've never ran across a hot one. You never ran across a hot one? No, but... I got pulled over one time, and I got had a gun pointed at me. When I got out, the girl was actually super hot. Really? Yeah. Were you like Lil Wayne? Where you're like, woo, woo, woo. You know yeah, that song? Right, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have no the, idea the, how the, the song goes. The, the lady cop or something, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, 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 I'm four beers in and I have no idea right, how that song right. goes. It's all wee, wee, wee. Yeah, that's all. Yeah, that song, I, that I know song. exactly what you're talking yeah, yeah. about. No, no, if I If only you would have had a diamond grill, you would have gotten that pussy. You know what, man? And I wasn't even doing shit. I, I got left off on a warning. You know what you were doing? You were driving while brown. <laughs> I should have dropped the race card. Yeah, yeah, Is it because yeah. I'm Mexican, bitch? Yeah. She's fucking with me? Are you serious? You see, because I had my fucking Spanish music fucking blaring out the fucking window. And my fellow's black or white, you'd have let me go? Yeah. But That's... no, it's because you had your fucking, you had your big Virgin Mary on the fucking back oh, windshield. Oh, man. Is it like Zacatecas or something yeah. on my back windshield? Son of a bitch. Sorry, man. I didn't mean to drop Zacatecas. What about Jalisco? Oh, yeah, I don't know anyone from Jalisco. I don't know anybody from Jalisco either, man. Uh, but, yeah, that's, that's why I got pulled Jalisco, over. Jalisco, I'm sorry. That's why I got pulled over. Hey, man, man you know what? I, I just it, the, the girl was hot, man. The girl was super hot. I, I would have I I resisted, you know? I would have done something so she can arrest Just to grab you. a boo? Just to just cop a feel. Oh, really? Just so she can have her breasts up against your back. Because girls, <laughs> I think a female can search a male. Oh, yeah. But a male can't search a female. I don't know. I don't know if girls can search a male. I mean, I can send to it. I'd go, hey, you know, it's fine. Just go ahead. Check me. You know? You in know? the midsection. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Dude, have you ever seen that video where, where that... Uh, there's a video. Any one of you guys can fucking YouTube it. Actually, we're going over our time, but it's fine. I'll just tell the story real fast. There's this video out there where this cop pulls over this dude. And he, this dude is sagging, right? And he's searching him. He's patting him down, this male cop. And the, the dash camera is, is capturing this. And he's searching him and he reaches to the front. And he, I think he thinks he has a gun. He goes, what's in your pants? And the dude goes, officer, that's my penis. And the cop goes, oh, sorry. And the cop goes, <laughs> well, yeah. sorry. Yeah, he, 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 gave it, he, gave it, he gave it four, four more strokes, a double oh, check. Man. And he goes, all right, you just he, busted your nut. He, I sh- guess, he shook it. He yeah, shook it. I guess it's not a gun. That's disgusting. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for today's show. We are completely out of time. Let us know what you guys like about the show. Let us know if you guys want us to change anything. Uh, let us know what you guys think We're overall. all about our followers, man. Yeah. All about our peeps. All about the Dirty Cock Nation. Let us know. Leave a comment, guys. Comment throughout the whole video. Let us know what you guys thought. Until next time, I am Sway. Evan. Peace. Peace.